G'day, today on the bench we've got the Siglent SDS 2104X HD. We're going to unbox it, turn it on and have a bit of a look at it. So within the main box, you get a second box. This contains your probes, a wireless mouse that's included, a power lead, it's kind of annoying though, I wish it was right angle, a USB lead, four probes, Under all this, you've got a small instruction manual, which I believe also contains a calibration certificate. There's nothing more frustrating than a slow boot time. This was slightly faster than the MSO 5000. The included scope probes come with this handy little BNC tip. This is really nice. Get you really close to the signal without having wires or antennas hanging off your probe. These are times 10 probes, and the scope auto detects them. You've always got to make sure you compensate your new probes. It comes with this little screwdriver. I was surprised to see it had a metal tip. A lot of them are plastic. Let's see how fast the auto set feature is. I've popped a 1 kHz sine wave in from a Rigol function generator. I've got to say, it feels really responsive, not too laggy, however I will say the included mouse seems a bit crap, I don't know, maybe it's because I've got it plugged into the rear USB port, maybe because the uh, battery that comes with it is pretty average. Here I'm trying to trigger on a bit of a weird signal, but um, you know, probably should have read the manual first, hey. The menu structure is a lot different to what I'm used to with the drop down menus, but I like it. And yes, you can change the memory management. Single shot trigger, and there you go, you can zoom out. So I was trying to come up with a simple lazy way to show the difference between 8 and 12 bits and vertical resolution. And here we go, single shot capture at 1 volt per division, zoomed into 100 millivolts. Now let's go do the same thing on the MSO 5000. Alright, 1 volt per division, let's zoom in. So as you can see, you just don't have the same vertical resolution with 8 bits. Also, the front end on the Siglent is a lot quieter. Not sure if you can hear this on the video, but when I remove the power from this unit, it's in standby. Gah, sounds like a bloody camera flash. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like and subscribing. If you've got any questions about this Siglent scope, yell out in the comments. Shortly you'll see a video on this switch mode power supply that's misbehaving. Let's see if we can fix it. Until next time, gotcha!